viewers all over the world, thank you, thank you again for tuning in. Daughters, you can make it. This is all about women. This channel celebrates the life of women. This channel speaks in the life of women who wants to give up on themselves. And this program is all about women. And to tell the woman that you can make it, doesn't matter what you have been facing past years and what you are going through right now and what you are thinking, what will happen tomorrow. We want to give hope to our nation. And only way to give hope to our nation is to speak to our women and give hope to our daughters all over the world. Thank you again for tuning in. This is Faith Bible Church live studio. We are coming to you direct from Faith Bible Church. And this is about to celebrate women. This is about to celebrate women and tell the woman that you can make it. Yes, your past is your past. Your past has nothing to do with your future. Your path is having nothing to do with your future. And your future is great because Jesus has died on the cross of Calvary to give you victory in your struggles, to give you healing in your pain, to give you breakthrough in your financial problems that you are facing. So as a woman, cheer up and be encouraged that you are going for your victory. You will not fail. You will not fall down. You will not lie down forever. You will not eat the dust, but tomorrow is great. So be encouraged as you have tuned in life. Please tell the woman, Mama is back on the studio. Daughter, you can make it. Talk to somebody. Drop a comment. Let us hear how you are doing, how you are celebrating yourself. Last time we say, don't wait other people to talk good about you, for you to feel that really you are good. Don't wait other people to say you are beautiful. For you to feel that you are beautiful, know that you are a good person and know that you are a beautiful woman. If you can hear me nice, please drop a comment. If the sound is nice, drop a comment. Let us hear people in the studio to hear that the sound is nice. Whether the music is, even, even if the music is loud, please let us hear, say something. And for those that are following us uh, through YouTube, you can go Nobet Mukuve Ministry, Nobet Mukuve Ministry, Word of Faith. You can get us there, and if you are on Faith Bible Church, please type Faith Bible must be together, and the space, and then the church. Faith Bible, little space, and the church. You will get us there. Please say something about this program. This is all about women. I celebrate women all over the world. And women, we need to protect each other. We need to protect each other. We are sisters in Christ, and we are sisters in all. So before we continue, please talk to somebody. This is the day every Tuesday, unless the network, but the raining, raining season is over. So now I believe that really this network problem is over. And now we are going to come live and direct every Tuesday. Every Tuesday, this is your time. Make your appointment <laughs> with this program, daughter. You can make it so that you cannot be absent. Follow us every day. Talk to somebody. Let me hear whether you are hearing me. Is the sound okay? Is the sound okay? Is there somebody coming in? I want to hear from you. And send a message to your sister. Today we are talking about women. We are talking about married mamas married woman people that got this thing from somebody if you have a ring yes even if you don't have a ring you are traditionally married you want to talk to married ladies this is very important so don't miss the program of tonight please share with somebody the message call somebody quickly and say this is about us married people so please don't miss mama mukuve on this program of daughter you can make it before we go we want to acknowledge god and we want us to pray and ask wisdom as women we need wisdom Wisdom we need. Before everything that we need, we need wisdom. And I want to welcome every woman. I respect you. Pastors that is following me, I respect you. Thank you very much for personal calls that you are calling me. The word of wisdom you are speaking to my life and the encouragement that you are giving to me. It means a lot to me. We are young women and we need you elderly women in the gospel to lead us in the name of Jesus. So I can see people are coming in. Yes, there's a Joseph. God. I, I've been saying this program is not only for daughters. If I'm seeing there are many men that is coming on this program. Many men are really appreciating what God is doing through Faith Bible Church to their wives, and they are also learning. So as I said, even if I say a woman, just take yourself as a man. Thank you very much. 
those that is coming in, Joseph and everybody that is here, they are watching. We are going to kick off now. Let us pray and ask God to help us. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we want to thank you for your mercy. We want to thank you that you are making us women. You have made us to be women. This is a privilege to be a mother. This is a privilege to be a woman. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for loving us and choosing us to be a helpers to our husband. As we are going in this program, I pray that you will touch the hearts of many women and give them wisdom. Even me, myself, as I'm teaching this, help me, Holy Spirit, so that the best can come out of me in Jesus' name. Please, please share the program with somebody. We want to start. We are behind time, but I can see there are people coming in. Daniel Shifu is watching. He's a man and he's even waving. Daniel, I appreciate life, your life for Jesus. Thank you for coming in. Can you please tell your wife or your sister, anybody that is a daughter in your house, to watch together with you? Thank you very much. Thank you very much for those that are coming in. So, today I say I want to talk about women. You know, oh... You are precious woman. If you are watching me today, you are a queen in your own world, in your own space. There's nobody that can replace you. There's nobody that can take your space. There's nobody that looks like you. You are beautiful. Cherish yourself. Appreciate yourself. Love yourself. You are diamonds. Don't allow the world to destroy you. Don't allow other people to look down on you. You are virtuous woman. Today I have titled my message. Let us read quickly in Proverbs chapter 31. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 12, and then we go to verse 23. Proverbs chapter 31. And I want to say this one. Many, many of us, we know that when we are reading this, this, this verse, we assume it's only for a woman that was praised because she was hardworking. She did something with her hands. She supported her family. Every time when we talk of Prophet 31, we think of a woman that is in business. Yes. I also thought of it that it's only a woman that is in business. But now after reading this and reading this and the Holy Spirit helped me, now I understand it's more than the woman in business. So let us read quickly in verse 12. Then we go again to 23. Verse 12 is very short and very powerful. It says, She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. And when we go quickly to verse 23, it says, Her husband is respected at the city gates, where he takes his seats. Among the elders of the land, her husband is respected at the city gates where he takes his seat among the elders of the land. Verse 12 says, she brings him good and not harm all the days of our life. I have titled my message very simple. I said, woman, don't disrespect your husband publicly. Woman, don't disrespect your husband publicly. I hope men today, they will be very happy. Men today, they will be very heavy and say, talk, talk, talk in their heart. My wife is listening. Talk. <laughs> so today I want to talk about women. Don't, don't disrespect your husband publicly. Publicly means when people are hearing you outside your house, in the meetings, at his workplace, with his friends, in front of the family meeting, in front of the burial, where we are at the weddings, don't disrespect your husband publicly. Yes, I said we were reading in Proverbs 31. And many of us, when we think when we are hearing about this uh, verse, this uh, chapter, we think it's about concerning about a businesswoman. But today I want to bring from the another level of, of this, uh, this, this, this verse. It says, she brings him good, not harm, all the days of our life. Here we are talking about the woman. Woman is a dangerous thing, that dangerous person that you can ever find. Dangerous in good way and dangerous in bad way. Woman is very good when she wants to build a home. She's a good, good 
thing when she wants to build the house. And she can also be very dangerous when she wants to destroy something. When she wants to destroy a house, or when she wants to destroy a relationship, or when she wants to destroy her husband. She is the first thing that can be used to the door to destroy the husband. Valerie Kovac says, thank you very much for watching. Ladies are coming in. Please talk to somebody. Talk to somebody. We need to share this program. Comment, comment, drop a like of something. Share, comment, and do something. Let us move on. A woman is very dangerous. A woman, a woman like me, or this woman, this woman that God has created and give to Adam is very dangerous. And she is very good on two things. She is very good to build a home. A woman can build a home. And she's very good on other part. If she wants to destroy a, a, a home that was built for long as 15 years, 20 years, 30 years, she can destroy it in one second. Is how we women, we are very dangerous. So it's why it is so needed that a woman must be trained. A woman must be taught. She must be disciplined. She must learn how to behave, most especially when it comes to your husband. We have issues in these days. We have problems with us women. We don't know really where we belong. We don't know our position in the society when we are with our husbands. We don't know in the house where we belong. Woman, if you need peace in your marriage, find out your position. Where do you belong? Who are you to the man that you have married? Be a woman and do him good all the days of his life. Find out where do you belong. The problem comes when we don't know as women where we belong in our lives. The problem comes when we don't know whether we are a wife or whether we are a husband or who are we. Are we a daughter again in the house? The problem comes if you don't, if you are unsecure of your positions as a woman. It's when the problem comes. And then we start to disrespect our husband. But I said, woman, don't disrespect your husband publicly. Hallelujah. Don't disrespect your husband publicly. The respect that our husbands are getting, the respect that this man got in verse 23, her husband is respected at the city gates. Her husband is respected. I believe Maybe 50% or 95% or 75% came from the respect of this woman that she showed to her husband that makes the people of outside to respect her husband also. Many of us women, we don't respect our husband outside the house. We talk the way that we want to him in front of the friends at his workplace, we just enter any lunch time. We talk the way we want. We don't respect our husbands. Our husbands have become our our baby, our last bones. Maybe I don't know. Our like we talk to our husbands like we are talking to our children. I want to talk something about respect. Respect for a woman to her husband. You know, you can be rich, you can drive expensive car, you can have nice house, you can have a lot of money. Uh, sound is not uh, fine. Somebody saying the sound is not fine. Please check on the sound. We can have whatever we are having, but please, if you don't respect your husband, what you give him will not replace that small word, respect. What you give him will never res uh, replace that small word, respect. Respect, that word is too much big to a man. When you respect him, it's just like you love him. You can tell the man, I love you, and if you don't respect him, it's like you don't love him. So our men, our husbands, goes for respect. And us ladies, we, we go more for, I love you, I love you, I love you. But to our husbands, they go more for respect. So please, our woman, let us respect our husband. One of the respect that the people are talking about this lady is 
she respect her husband not only that she was making for him nice clothes not only that she was a hard working businesswoman not only that she brought money in the house but she has the respect for her husband not only in the bedroom not only in the private space but publicly she respect her husband and that makes the city people the people of that town to respect the men because of the contribution of the respect that the wife was showing Today, when we're in supermarket and the way the wife is shouting to the men, you just wonder, maybe it's the son that he raised from the village. You just go that side and bring the salt. Bring the salt, I'm getting late, I need to go home. Is the wife talking to the men. Even in the house. You don't know where's a spoon. You don't know where's your socks. Is the wife talking to the men. Respect. You know, I believe as a woman, if you disrespect your husband in the public, actually you are showing yourself how bad you are. <laughs> you are showing other people that you are bad. You are, you are not disciplined. You are showing other people that your mother has not taught you the respect. You are showing other people that you don't need that man. That is what we are doing when we don't respect our husband in the meetings. You are showing other people People that, that you are the last woman that a man will wish to propose. Even if your husband goes, nobody will like to come to you. Because they know that how have you been treating that man that went to another house or he, he went somewhere. Respect what we do to our husbands. We are doing it for ourselves. If you don't respect your husband in show bright, you are showing other people how bad you are. You are exposing, not knowing that you are destroying yourself. In the old times, in the Bible, we were hearing how the ladies were calling their husbands. Some of them, they were saying like Sarah, my Lord. She was calling the husband with the great respect. But today, things have changed. The way we address our husbands. You, Hengura, come here. You. There's no respect, even just on his name. You, Lazarus, come. That is your husband for you. Many of us women today, we are respected because of our husband. Because of that man that you have married is where you are respected today. My husband said one day, when he was talking to one lady, the day your husband will die is the day that you will find out you are useless. The day your husband will die after the burial, coming home, you realize that you are useless. You needed that man more than that you think you need him. What we have today is because of our husband. So let us respect our husbands. The way we speak to our husbands in the public counts the most. It's very important. Men are sensitive. The way you shout on him in the meetings. The way you go to his workplace during lunchtime. See, bring him good. When you, when you respect your husband, you do good. Not to, not to cash him every month and with 500, 5,000, 10,000. No, that's not the respect. That's to buy love. But when you do him good, you respect him. You show him respect. For example, when you're in the meeting, let him be a man to voice out. Don't, con don't, don't fight with him in the meeting. Everything he said, you have something to say. Other people are quiet. It's only you and your husband talking. Your husband said, let us do like this. You jump in. No, like not, not like that. Let us do like this. Other people are just looking at you like you're playing a movie. End of the day, it's not the meeting that you came for. It's you. You are playing the movie in front of the people. Telling the people indirectly, this is how I treat my husband. This man is not good. So you see myself, the way I answer this man is who I am. Many men today, they are afraid to go with their wives, even to a wedding a preparation meeting or to a funeral meeting. Because they know exactly how the wife will answer him in front of his mother, in front of his sister. Let us do him good and not harm. You know, when you do harm to your husband is when you make him to feel useless. When you disrespect your husband in public, it means you, you remove the clothes 
from him. He's still naked. He's just asking himself, why did I make this terrible mistake to marry this woman? God, why did you not help me during that time? Why did you not open my eyes? Why did I went in this? Many homes to today are broken because of respect. Just simple thing, respect. Men are moving out of house. Our husbands are moving out of our houses just because of the simple word respect. Sometimes you go and cancel people. Why are you going? Say, no, she's good. She can cook on time. She does everything on time, but my wife don't respect me. Now, because of that, you are going. I want a divorce. No respect. Many women today, they think they will marry their degree. I'm talking to women as I'm talking to myself. Many women think I'm educated. I'm a principal. I'm a chief inspector. I'm a general overseer. I don't know of which company. I can manage it. My sister, you don't marry those things. You need a man to be a woman. You need that man that you disrespect today. You need that man that you are shouting during lunch break. It's a man that you need to be called a wife. But many of us today, we have married our papers and we are crying in the night. And we are even saying, even just even as long as he's having a trouser, I just need anything in the street as long as he's having a trouser. If you could respect that man, today you could not cry. You could not be like this. Let us respect our husbands. More especially in front of your family, your own family, your sisters. Respect your husband. The men will not tell you, but you will find out things are not going well outside. Men, they are going where they are respected. Even if the woman is not educated, love is not about education and money. You will find yourself and ask yourself, what have happened with me? I have a car. I have a good job, I have money, but why have my husband left me and go under a zinc house? What makes him to go to that woman? Because he was respected. Just a respect. And many men that is viewing today will agree with me. A man is not moved by what you have. But if you cannot respect him, he will not stay with you. And for those that have not respect their husband, thank God for a program like daughter, you can make it. Today you are, you are learning. And maybe your husband was planning to go next month, but because of this program, he's thinking my wife will change. So please, woman, let us change to respect our husbands. In the public meetings, keep quiet. There are things that you can go and tell him at the house, my husband, you're supposed to say this. I think we're supposed to do next time like this. But don't correct your husband always in front of people. Don't correct him in front of small kids. No, what you are talking, my husband, is not right. I think only a, a, a stupid person can say such a thing. What are you saying, your own husband? That is to tell the people that you yourself are stupid. Many times... What we think we are doing to our husbands is what we are doing to ourselves. So, in verse 23, it says, her husband is respected. Yeah, I'm talking about respect. Don't get tired of this topic. I'm talking about respect. Yes, there will be a time that I'll talk to the men how to respect and treat your wife. How to respect some of this disrespect that we are getting from your wife is you have started it. You have started shouting your wife, left, right, sender. So, Jesus give you back. And the worst enemy that you can have in life is your wife. I'm telling many men, a worst enemy that you can get in life is your wife. The worst enemy that you can get in life is your wife. Let's continue. Let's continue. The worst enemy that you can get in life is your wife. Her husband is respected at the city gates. The worst enemy that you can get ever in life is your wife. She knows you. She knows when you are strong and when you are weak. Have you seen a man cry and the wife just says something and the man cry or he say, my heart is paining. A man, strong man. The kids are saying, my father is my hero. The one crying, tears. Woman is a problem. Oh. Don't provoke them. Love them. And she will respect you. 
Another day I'll talk about the men that must, how a man must treat a woman. And I think I will invite my husband for that one. But for this one, let's talk. Hallelujah. Let's talk. How to respect the men in the city gates. You know, city gates can be a place where many people are coming. And when he's taking her seat, people talk about the elders. You know, a elders, elders respect the men because of the respect of the woman. Woman, today I want to talk to you. Change your attitude towards your husband. Change your attitude before you will be changed. Change your attitude before you will be changed. Yes. Let us be women that love our husbands. If we check in Genesis chapter 2, let's go there quickly. Let's go there quickly. Genesis chapter 2, very powerful. How God has made our life to be easier. I'm there. Chapter 2, verse 18. You know that every woman, it's not a mistake that you marry that man. It's not a mistake that you came in the life of that man. Yes. I understand some of our husbands, they're out of the way. But for you, it's not a mistake that you came in the life of that man. Genesis chapter 2, verse 18 says, And the Lord God said, It is not good for a man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. It's not good for a man to be alone. I will make for him a helper. Not only a helper, but he is suitable for this man. He's the right person for this person, for this man. You know that as women, we are so controlled. We control our husbands that they cannot even breathe, even not to visit to their families. Since he has married you, he forgot his mother's village. Your husband, since he married you, he forgot to give even a $50 to his mother. Are we a good thing? The Bible says, a man that finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains the favor in the eyes of the Lord. We're supposed to be good both sides. And respecting our husbands and not allowing them to forget from where they are coming. Because it's not good for a man to be alone. It's why he has married you. You are a good thing in his life. You are a good thing. So don't let him forget his mother's place. Don't let him forget supporting his mother. Many problems today we are getting is because of us women. When we marry the man, we want to separate him from his family. We want to separate him from his children, his former children, stepchildren. We want to, we want to separate him from his friends. Some of the husbands, they don't have friends. They don't know when last have they visited their mother. You are comparing yourself with your in-law, your husband's mother. Before you came. In his life, it was that woman who gave birth unto him, raised him. Now today, just because you are in his life, does not mean you must take the place of his family. Allow him to go to his family. Allow him to support his sisters, uncles, brothers, children, and be a helpmate, be a helper. Remind him, when last have you sent money to your mother? Why are you buying this type of food for your mother? Let us buy nice food for your mother. It's winter. Let us buy blanket for your mother. When last? You are a good thing in the life of that man. Don't make him forget his family. If it was not for his family, it, if it was not for that uncle that helped him when he was in grade 6, if it was not for that auntie who paid for his, his school fees, he could not become your husband today and you could not enjoy the salary of the man that you're enjoying. Remember from where that man came, how many people contributed towards his education? How many people contributed towards his success? Hallelujah. Now that you married the man, you are sitting in the house, you are carrying the bobcat, the man must lie every month and I don't have money. The man must lie every month and he cannot send money for his mother. Woman, let us respect not only in the room, but let us respect our husbands from where they are coming. And let us help them supporting their family. 
Hallelujah. So the Lord God says, it is not good for a man to be alone. It's not good. It was not good for your husband to be alone. Now you have come in his life to help him. You are a helper. You are not a husband on him. Mommy, don't, don't behave like you are a husband and your husband is a wife. Many men in their houses, it's only that they are wearing a trouser and going to the work with the shirt. But they are wives. They are wives. And their wives are the husbands and them, they are wives in the house. You feel pity for a man. Some of them, they are just having a man there. But to tell you the truth, the main person controlling the house is a wife. It's why I said in the beginning, women are dangerous or good thing to build and to destroy. Men, you must be strong. Open up your mouth. Otherwise, you will sit without a family because of your wife. Open up your mouth. Talk to your wife. Let her know what you like and what you don't like. Are we together? This is a program that I'm training my daughters and I'm also trained as I'm speaking now. I'm also speaking to myself. I'm also talking to myself. We need to be a good, good thing. Yes. Actually, our husbands must start to call us, good thing, how are you, good thing, so that it can remind us that we must be good. Yes. I have seen families that is not supported by their angles because of the woman. I have seen men not sending money to their mothers at the village. At the farms, their own mother will give birth to them, their father. Because my wife is carrying my bobcat, I don't have money. Winter time, your mother is even not having a blanket. Blanket, blanket, your mother, because of your wife. Woman, what have happened? What have happened with you? You were not like that. We are not created to be like that. We are created to be a help. Mate, we were created to be a helpmate. Hallelujah. So that we can help our husbands succeed in everything that they are doing. God says it's not good. Let God not look down to your marriage and say it's not good that this man have taken this woman. You know, if you are not the helper, who are you? You are destroyer. Many women today, they have destroyed the relationship. Some of the men, they don't have even just a normal friend like Saturdays to go to their friend just, just to go for a, one hour. He must stay in the house and see she must, the one going around gossiping people, destroying the homes of people. Respect your husband. Show him that respect. Today I want to talk to a woman. Show him that respect. If you need a prayer, go to your church elders. Let them pray for you. If you need a counseling, go somewhere to your elders. Let them counsel you. Because you, you are going far with disrespecting your husband. And many women, they are very good to pretend. They are easy to respect other, other women's husbands. How come? If you cannot respect your husband, sister, how come do you want to come and respect other women's husband? Bible says, let every wife respect her own husband. But today, our husbands are crying at the houses. And when we come to church, yes, uncle, yes, pastor, yes, prophet, yes, apostle, whom, whose husband are you respecting like that? And your husband is crying. Even the moment you left the house, your husband is crying and say, God touch her where she's going. I want a different woman to come. He must come as a different woman. But from the gate, as you're entering your house, they will hear you. Even the kids watching TV, they are running in the room. Your husband is holding his head. Oh, God is back. I believe she has changed. But just the entering of the house, you will hear her mouth. How she is insulting the husband. How she is shouting in the house. But at the church, she was a holy woman. Yes, apostle, whatever you say, I will do. Yes, prophet. Yes, pastor. This woman respecting prophets and pastor. They are demonic. Their houses are suffering. Their husbands are full of high blood pressure. They are not sleeping in the night. But the woman, that woman is the same woman running to the church, respecting other men. And she cannot submit to your own husband. Sister, you are destroying. Every woman today, she respects her husband. It's only you. 
Yes, it's only you. Every woman is trying in her own capacity to respect her, her own husband and please her own husband. We are running out of time. We are running out of time. Today is about the respect of our husband publicly. Sh stop shouting on your husband. Don't treat him like a child. He's not a small boy. If you needed a small boy, why did you go and say yes to him? It's not your child, that one. It's your husband, sister. You need that man. In days to come, you stay alone. You will not have a man. And you will regret and say, why did I not respect him? Why did I do this? So today I'm talking to you, most especially the daughters of Faith Bible Church and daughters in general. I'm talking to you. Just a little respect every day. Yes, I know some of you, you are watching me and you say you don't know what I'm going through. You don't know what I'm crying. I know. But bring your part. God knows. He can see. He knows what you are going through. I will pray with you tonight and the Holy Spirit will help you. Yes, I know you are a stubborn woman. You are the type of the woman that said, me, he will see me. Me, me, I don't. Me, me, a man cannot play with me. <laughs> what? Me, the man cannot play with me. He can tell me. He will not tell me. I will tell him. He must know me. My sister, stop me, me, me. If you needed me, 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 why you don't marry yourself? Why did you not marry yourself? Why did you marry that two men? He's supposed to go somewhere where he's respected by a woman. Why he's respected? And today you are playing with your, uh, your men. Many women are praying every night for a man. And you, by the grace of God, you are having a man. Even if he's bad. You are having a man. I'm just talking in general. Even if he's bad, that is bad, he don't support you. You are having a man. And you are talking the way you want. No, he don't support me. He brings stepchildren, he brings children. Even but you are having a man. Thank God that you are having a man. Days will come. Days will come that one man will have ten women. So you have to day one. And you are alone to that. Respect him. All he asks of you is respect. And everything will be added. Let us pray before we close down. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I'm in agreement as I pray for other women. I pray for myself also. Holy Spirit, Help us to respect our husbands as this woman in Proverbs 31 has respected her husband and she do good to her husband all the days of her life. And to do that, see, we need the Holy Spirit. Lord, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you need to give us Holy Spirit that will help us to respect our husband and to do them good. All the days of our lives. I pray with you wherever you are right now. In the name of Jesus. Let the Holy Spirit that teach us in everything teach you tonight. Give you ways. Give you wisdom. How to respect your husband in the mighty name of Jesus. Give you ways. Give you wisdom. How to respect your husband in the mighty name of Jesus. In the places where you are not quiet. I pray that the Holy Spirit will give you guidance to close your mouth. And wait for the right time to speak in the mighty name of Jesus. And before we close, please, before you close, don't, don't take it personal and say, maybe it's me because I'm useless. I cannot respect my husband. Okay, I will not change. There is a room for grace in life. Yes, there is room for grace. If you want to change, there is always room to change. First thing to change is to ad admit that you are wrong. Admit that you are wrong. Go to your husband. Sit down on your knees. Tell him, my husband, I'm sorry. I've been disrespecting you. I've learned from this program. I've been disrespecting you, shouting on you, answering you, not listening to you in the meetings, embarrassing you. My husband, I'm sorry. And from now, I will learn to change. But please understand me and help me in the process that I'm changing, talk to your husband and ask forgiveness. That is the first thing that you can do. And as a woman, the second thing that you can do, learn to ask forgiveness. Don't want your husband always to say, I'm sorry, my wife. I'm sorry, my wife. Be a woman that can say, I'm sorry, my husband. I did wrong. Forgive me. Men are a man with good hearts, yes. They are full of forgiving. They are men of good hearts. 
Yes, your husband may look like a lion, but his heart is very soft. <laughs> he may look like an elephant, but his heart is very soft. And there's no man that can chase away his wife when he's asking forgiveness and ask for second chance again. Men, as you are listening to me, please, forgive us as your wives for disrespecting you. And give us another space again to grow and start to respect you and help us in the process of growing. Because some of us, we are young. Some of our parents have passed on a long time and we don't have menders. So some of us are doing things not knowingly. So all the men outside there, I'm asking forgiveness on behalf of all the daughters. And remember, daughter, you can make it. This is Faith Bible Church. God bless you. But before we go, there are maybe somebody watching there and say, I want to give my life to Jesus. You know, that makes the way easier. That makes the marriage life easier, by the way. And that makes the life of asking forgiveness easier. When you give your life to Jesus, He come in your life and He make your heart suffer and He make you humble. Proud people, they don't make it easily in life to ask forgiveness. So if you're out there, I want to pray with you today and lead you as a woman to Jesus. Every woman needs a Jesus. Every woman needs Jesus. Even the mother of Mary, she needed her son. Yes, she respected the grace upon the life of her son and the anointing. You as a woman, wherever you're viewing me from, wherever you're watching me from, you need Jesus. Yes, you have everything that the world needs. But if you don't have Jesus, you are nothing. If you don't have Jesus, you don't have everything. Those that you have will go away. But the word of God will last forever. Let me lead you to Jesus. That's a privilege today as you are viewing. Repeat this prayer after me. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for this privilege, for loving me and making me as a woman. Today I come to you asking for forgiveness and inviting you in my heart, in my life, in my marriage, in the name of Jesus. Take away all my pride, all my sins, all my stubbornness. Forgive me where I have wronged my husband, where I have disgraced my husband. And make me a new woman, a woman that will be loved by my husband, a woman that will be celebrated by my husband. Father, I thank you for what you have done on the cross of Calvary. Today I am a new woman. Past is gone. I look up to the future how I will respect my husband, and how I will change. If we have done this prayer, congratulations. You and me, we are on the journey to respect our husbands. Don't miss next Tuesday on Dota. You can make it. God bless you.